In this video, we are going to continue with revision exercise 12. In this one, we will do part 2. You will find this on page 544 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. So in this video, we're going to do 3, 4 and 5. Again, you can do all 3, stop the video, do all 3 and then check or otherwise stop, do 3, check and continue in that pattern. Okay, but let's start with number 3. They say fine, so it's just a normal, it's an indefinite integration because there's no limits. So it's going to be tan square x plus sin 2x dx. Okay, now remember tan square x, I showed it in the previous also. We break that always up into sec square x minus 1 plus then that sin 2x. Okay. And I integrate. I must still keep my integral sign because I must still integrate. Okay. Now what is sec? That is just going to be tan x. The constant is just going to get a x plus a half sin 2. And if it's indefinite integration, then I must say plus. Oh. Okay, sorry, I forgot <laughs> to integrate. I'm just rewriting. Okay, so it's minus cos 2x. Remember from sin to cos, it's minus cos. Okay, so check that you don't make the same mistakes. You're just busy, busy copying. So plus c. So the final answer is just going to be tan x minus x minus a half cos 2x, and please don't forget your c, otherwise you're going to lose one mark. Okay, let's do, that was number a, let's do number b. Find the exact value, it's a total different question, it could be 1 and 2. Okay, it's not influencing each other. So in this case, it's going to be 1 and 0, and it's going to be 3e, e, and then it's going to be 1 minus 2x dx. Okay, so first I'm going to integrate. So there's the 3. The value in front of x, grab that sign, is negative 2. So multiply its integration. So 1 over negative 2. And then remember I already wrote the 3. Don't write it again. And e, and then I just repeat that. And then it's to 1 and 0. So okay, if I really want, it's not necessary, but I just will show you it's 3 over 2 e. 1 minus 2x, 1 and 0. So it's going to be negative 3 over 2, then e, 1 minus 2, 1, minus negative 3 over 2, e, 1 minus 2, 0, um, and that's going to be negative 3 over 2, e, and this is going to be negative 1 plus 3 over 2, and this is going to be, uh, this is 0, so it's just 1. Okay, and that's the final answer. It's, it's definite, so it's not, you don't write plus c. That was number 3. Let's do the next one, number 4. Okay, let's just move it like this, and we can see, and then we can start with number four. Okay, <clears throat> number four. Find the exact area of the region bounded by the curve. So what is the curve? The curve is 1 plus e 2x minus 1. The x-axis and the lines. Okay, now I can write it in. So the lines, the smallest one here, because it's on a number line. First will be a half, then the biggest one there. And then it's 1 plus e, 2x minus 1. And then it's going to be integrating 2x. Okay. And that is going to be x plus, okay, and now don't forget, it's a half e, 2x minus 1. And then it's 2 
and a half. And now I substitute. So I substitute 2 plus a half e to 2 minus 1 minus, okay, and then it's a half plus a half e to a half minus 1. Okay, and that is going to be 2 plus a half e. This is going to be 4 minus 1, so that is going to be 3. So minus a half, look at the sign, minus a half, and that is going to be 1 minus, so it's e to the power of 0. Okay, so this is going to be, okay, let's just, I just want to show you before I simplify it, it was unnecessary, I could have already wrote it. Because anything to the power of zero is one, so that I just wanted to show you this minus a half. So this is minus one, so two minus one, that's going to be one, so it's plus a half e to the power of three, and whatever it's units, uh, find the units squared. That's the final answer. And that was number four. And now we can go for the last one, number five. Okay, let's start. Number five. The diagram shows the curve. Now, I always, I always like first writing that down. Y is equal, and it's a root, and it's going to be 1 plus E to the power of 1 over 3. It's just a bit small, but I think you can see it in the textbook. 1 over 3, X. And... Then they also say that x is bigger and equal to 0 and smaller and equal to 6, which you can also see from the graph. Okay. Now, they say the region bounded by the curve and the lines, so 0 and 6, okay, y is 0, that one, is denoted by r. Use the trapezium rule, and here it comes, with two strips. Okay, so n is 2. To find the estimate of the area, giving you also to two decimal places. Okay, so let's just start there. Let's start with number A. Now, I'm first going to write down all my things. I'm going to say, okay, what is the value of A? That's A and that's B. So the value of A is 0. The value of B is 6. And the value of N, what is N going to be? 2. And the value of H is, um, this is going to be, B minus A over N. So if I move it a little bit up, I'm going to say B. So 6 minus 0 divide 2, and that will be 3. Okay. Now I'm going to create my table. It's not so many strips, so... Okay, so this is going to be x, this is going to be y. Now, I'm going to start with a, so 0, and I go in this multiples. So it's 3 and then 6, because it's, it's like 1 gap, 2 gaps. Okay, so then this is going to be y0, y1, y2. Now, to get this y values. Now, how do I get that y values? I use this equation. So I say y is equal to... It's 1 plus e to the power of, okay, that x is a little bit low, I see. Always check your original. So the x is supposed to stand, do you see, there in the air. Okay, can you see? Just check there. So e, and because x would usually not stand behind, so that's why I was thinking it's incorrect. Zero. So that is going to be 1 plus e to the power of zero. And that is going to be 1 plus 1, so it's going to be the square root of 2. So square root 2. Okay. The next one is y equals, check your original, so 1 plus e, and that's a third, and that is going to be 3. And then it's going to be 1 plus, now remember, it's 3 over 3, so it's e, and that's your answer. 
Leave it like that, 1 plus e. Don't already work it out. Okay. And then the final one is y is equal to, check the original, 1 plus e, uh, a third, and now it's going to be 6. So it's going to be 1 plus e to the power of 6 divided by 3, 2. So, very good, 1 plus e to the power of 2. Okay. Now, if I'm going to start, I'm going to start with the area. So how do I work out area? It's approximation. That's why sometimes I do it like this. So h over 2, and then it's, remember the middle one is double. So it's going to be y0 plus double the middle one, or middle ones, but in this case it's only one, so plus the lo um, last one. Okay. So this is going to be, what is my h? So it's going to be, in this case, 3 over 2. And then it's going to be square root 2 plus 2, uh, 1 plus e, plus 1 plus e squared. Okay. Now, if you press this on the calculator, it can be, so just, I'm going to try to show you how to press it. At first, I prefer starting with the bracket and then multiply. So, I'm going to try to, to, to talk it through. So, press square root 2 plus, then 2 multiply square root. And now, because there's two things in, what I like to do is then I would put the bracket. So, I say bracket. 1 plus shift e and just say 1 because that exponent is just 1 and then close the bracket. Plus, I'm there, plus, first the square root, then the bracket, I'm putting a bracket in again. So 1 plus shift e, it's just to go on top of len, and then 2, that little 2, then close the bracket equals. Now I get 8.167 whatever. Now, I multiply it with the top 3, and I divide it by the 2. And I'm getting, and they said two decimal places. Luckily, I didn't approximate there, so I'm getting 12.25, whatever, units squared. Okay, and that's how you do number A. Now, let's just go for the finals. With reference to the diagram, explain why this estimate is greater than the exact area of R. And I, I really saw this very nice, um, I think if you write it like this, you are, t you are saying all the things they may be going to look for. So it stands very nice in the teacher's guide. Okay, so it's from the diagram, I'm going to write here, from the diagram. It can be seen that the trapezium rule will give an over estimate. Okay, that's very important since the top edges of the just going to move it up the strips but the strips is in the form of what trapeziums or lie above the concave curve. So you are saying the strips is above, you say the concave curve, but the, and this is also very important. But they say why this, uh, with reference to the diagram, explain why it's gra um, greater than the x. So it's an overestimate, so it's going to be greater than the area. So estimate is going to be a little bit higher than the actual value.